Hello everyone and welcome back to GTA Online with Longclaw Valerian Steel where we always deliver. Well I'm back giving you another insight into the bunker business as it's double money on the sales all week this week. I know everyone's tied up with the Cobra Eco heist and I'm trying to just get people aware of what is going on outside of the heist when you're back in the city. Don't neglect your businesses while you're running the heist. What I'm doing at the moment is running the double money sales in, in and around my Kaya High setup so I spawn uh, into my bunker so that I can actually do a, a sale first thing and one before I get off and if I've got time in between I'll do it as well I usually do this four or five times a day when it's double money and it is big this is the third time I've done it today and I'm making at least 420,000 per sale and it takes me usually 10 minutes and this is people ask me often how I've made all my money and it's really money grinding on the businesses particularly when double money is in play so come along this week and see how I do all of the sales for the bunker business as a solo player and don't forget get your bunker stocked up and ready to go now let's take a look and see how I get on <laughs> Most of the bunker sale missions are 15 minutes long, which is one of the challenges in doing them is that you have to try and complete the mission inside of 15 minutes. And usually it's not a problem, but they are designed to be done with more than one player. So as a solo player, that's why I reduce my sale down to just one vehicle. And you do that by just stocking up 75,000 uh, each time. Just before I run the sale, I'll purchase the supplies and they will be ready by the time I have finished the sale. Um, they will be in my bunker ready to start cooking, that's what I mean. So uh, that will guarantee one vehicle and you have 15 minutes to do it. So you should have no problem, but each sale mission is slightly different. And if you've watched my other videos, you'll see that they are, they vary in complication. In this particular mission, you're using a dune buggy to drop off uh, five different supplies. And it can have its challenges. The dune buggy is super fun to drive. I really like it. It all depends precisely where the drops are located. I was quite lucky that they're all located very close to my bunker. And for that reason, I'm doing this in a public lobby to try and capitalize on the player bonus that you get for selling in a public lobby. You can use the ghost organization. I didn't bother. I just went ahead and did it um, because it's quite close. Now, the dune buggy, you can really take it off-road and go anywhere in it, and that is super cool. And it also has uh, proximity mines that you can drop out the back of it, which means if somebody does start chasing you, you can just lay a trail for them to, to blow up. Now, every time you drop off stock, you get some activity. So guards start to spawn around you. They're not guards, they're, they're uh, other gangsters, so they're a rival gang and they spawn in four by fours and they are lethal if they manage to stop you or get in front of you you'll die very quickly and if you do you're gonna to have to get back in the car that is what can delay you and make it difficult to finish the mission within 15 minutes now you might notice every time i click on my map there is a bounty chasing me around as i'm doing this and i am aware of it as i'm running around and um, but i just push on because i know that if i can drop off the supplies and get moving uh, i might be able to outrun them so the guys that spawn every time you drop off your supplies there is there seems to be again they're way overpowered there seems to be no logic to how they appear for example they could be chasing you behind you and you might be outrunning them and if that's the case you can just drop proximity mines and hopefully you'll destroy them there are only three waves which means that once you've destroyed all three waves you can deliver in peace now if you don't outrun them i mean these these guards that are chasing you are some of the most annoying NPC characters in the game. They can literally spawn directly in front of you. And I mean literally while you're driving, like a second in front of you, bang, they appear in cars and they stop you on the road. So be mindful of that. If you can't see them on your map, 
prepare yourself because they're going to appear in front of you at some point. Uh, outrun them, drop your mines and get rid of them and you'll be you'll be easily within 15 minutes. So here I am dropping off the very last one. Some idiot in the lobby was trying to shoot me at the same time. Um, but I managed to deliver and I actually made 520,000 because it's a, f a full lobby. Let me know how you get on with this. Look out for the rest of these sale videos. Don't forget, stock your bunker up. Don't neglect your businesses and enjoy yourselves. Take care.